So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be telling you about few of the testing automation interview questions that have been frequently asked. So uh, let me share my screen. So such kind of questions are asked to you in the recent times. If you'll see the various companies like Accenture, LTM, Entry, or if you'll see Infosys, Gemini. So all these kind of questions will be asked to you. So you, if you want to prepare from the interview perspective, then we have created one digital product in which we have now covered 130 plus questions on our, and answers. So if you will see these particular this particular digital product, so it has 130 plus. So last month it had 100 plus, now it has 130 plus. So we are updating this digital product every month and we are making it available for you in this product, you will get a lot of interview questions. And what I'll be doing is for today, I'll be keeping the cost of this product at 20% off. So you don't have to pay 399. It will be available at a 20% discount of what price it is showing to you. It covers 130 plus interview questions and answers that are frequently asked. And these particular questions have been asked in 2024 itself and this particular year itself in multiple companies. So those kind of questions, answers we have covered. And you can see we are discussing 129th question in this particular video. So let us see this question. Should test cases be dependent on one another? If 10 test cases are dependent on a single test case, what happens if that test case fails? What is the best approach to handle the dependencies? So such kind of questions would be asked to you. Should test cases be dependent on one another or not? So very important, test cases should be independent. You should not have the dependency of the test case B on test case A. So for example, if you have test case A and if you have test case B, so if your test case A fails and then automatically if your test case B is dependent on test case A, then that also would fail, right? So you won't be able to determine the actual root cause, the failure, the reason behind the failure because there are multiple test cases and upcoming Consecutive test cases will also fail. So dependency is not a good practice. So you should answer in an interview. It's not a good practice. Now, in this, there is one more scenario based question. If 10 test cases are dependent on a single test case, what happens if that particular test case fails itself? What is the best approach to handle the dependencies? So what we will do is we'll discuss about the various approach about the various things that you can take care in order to distinguish in order to make sure that your test cases are not failing so first is isolate test cases so if you have multiple test cases then we need to isolate maybe you can isolate as per the module you can isolate with respect to the functionality or the feature as well and what would happen is this would actually this would make your dependency less this would make your this would also reduce the failure of your test cases being failed right so such kind of things isolation of test cases so here we have given an example as well so instead of having a login test case that all other tests depend on include the login steps within each test case or use setup methods to handle the login so if you are having a bdd framework then what you can do is you can include this login in your background keyword itself or you can also use it as a part of your setup method in your hooks. So there are multiple ways to handle such kind of things. So one is isolate test cases. Second is reusable setup methods. So you can use before method annotation. In testing also it is available, right? Mocking and stubbing. So what you can do is if you have some of the API which cannot be automated or which is altogether a third party API, which is an external API. So which you cannot automate, which is not in your control. It might be down. It might not be get, giving you the response on the other day. So what you can do is you can go for mocks. You can go for stops and you can automate those things. This is how the third party dependency is being resolved. Next is going for a retry logic. So at times we have come that you would be seeing that there are flaky tests in your automation suit, wherein there are a lot of failures happening. And it, it is a random failure. On Monday, Tuesday, it is working fine. On Wednesday, it might fail. On Thursday, again, it is working fine. On Friday, it might fail. So such kind of things might happen in your automation suit. So how will you handle these kind of flaky tests? So you can go for a retry mechanism. You can see, you can validate if one particular test script is failing once, you will retry for one or two more times to avoid the 
negative things. So such kind of things you can configure within your test framework itself to have a retry mechanism before marking that particular test case has failed. It will retry for two times, for three times. It depends on the count that you would be keeping. It depends on that. Use setup and tear down methods. So you can use before method, you can use after method annotations in test ng, the kind of things can be used. What are the different types of test annotations in test ng? Again, very, very important interview question. So preconditions you have before suit, before test, before class, before method, you have test, which is actually the annotation itself, right? Then you have uh, post conditions, you have after method, you have after class, you have after suit, then what is the difference between before method, before test? So these all interview questions have been covered in this particular product. Okay, so you can avail this product today itself and you would be able to get 20% of discount as well on this particular digital product. And apart from that, one of the important interview questions that has been recently asked is, so let me share that question also with you. Right. So what are the latest Selenium WebDriver 4.0 locator strategies? These, this is one of the very, very important interview question this would be asked to you. So one question is this, what are the latest Selenium WebDriver 4.0 locator strategies? And then one is, what is the difference between 3.x and 4.x? Which is the version that you are using for Selenium? Which is the version that you are using for APM? Such kind of questions are also asked. Now, let's understand what are the latest Selenium WebDriver 4.0 locator strategies? So there are various locators that are being introduced. So five locators that are being introduced here. So one is above. So you can locate an element above a specified element. So let's say you can uh, you can use this web element element equal to driver dot find element. So these things remain as is as it was there in the previous version and you can use by dot tag name dot above that particular reference element, right? So you can locate an element above to that. Then you also have a below. So you can locate an element below a specified element. Then there is two left off. So you can locate an element to the left of a specified element. Then there is two right off. So you can locate an element to the right of a specified element. So you can see above, below above below easy to remember to the left of to right of again easy to remember and last is you have near so you can locate an element near a specified element within a certain distance so you can mention at what distance with respect to what distance to that particular nearby element you want to locate so that's how you can tell so these things would be asked and the purpose behind asking this interview question is the interviewer wants to know whether you are updated with the latest version of Selenium and what are the things that has been introduced in the Selenium or not. If you are not updated, then what would happen is you won't be able to answer this question. And then they will filter you out in the interview that this person is not having Selenium 4X or Selenium latest version things, knowledge of latest things. So he or she might not have worked, even though you might be working in Selenium 3.x, which is not a latest version, which is an outdated version. So such kind of things are happening in the interview and then you might be feeling why I'm not getting selected, why I'm getting the mail like, uh, thank you for the response and we, we won't be going forward, we won't be moving forward for your candidature. So such kind of things are happening. So it is very important that you should have an idea of all these kind of locators, right? So this is a digital product which will be available today. So I will be putting the link of this product in the description as well as in the comment section of the video so you can refer this product and it will be available at a 20 percent discount rate so don't worry and you can avail it and please don't forget to give a positive rating five star rating and a positive testimonial for this particular product thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates